So today we're diving into Jason Hudson and his involvement in Black Ops 6. And you might ask or wonder what kind of involvement he may have if he died in Black Ops 2. Well, we're about to dive into some, mm, I would say pretty major spoilers for Black Ops 6 uh, in its campaign mode. So if you want to avoid any spoilers because you're playing the game, then I would leave the video right now. But if you don't care about spoilers and you want to see what I'm talking about, then let's go ahead and jump right into it. We always talk about Alex Mason and his death in Black Ops 2, and it's just always been that way. We almost never, ever, ever, ever mention Jason Hudson. Jason Hudson was also a integral part of Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2. He played major roles. He played a major role once again in Cold War, and he just, whether he was a hard ass or not, whether he was annoying or not, whether he bothered the main character sometimes it seemed like he was there for them it seemed like he helped them it seemed like he was also part of the little brotherhood that woods and mason had and then eventually adler joined that as well in black ops 6 we don't touch on too much of what happened in panama like just with bits and parts i would have really enjoyed a direct flashback mission but that didn't happen however we always wondered how a mole infiltrated the cia and who it was and we find out that jason hudson actually told Adler, I think it was a few weeks or maybe a few months, or it, it was shortly before he died, that Jason Hudson told Russell Adler that he believed someone infiltrated the CIA and that he believed that it was a group called Pantheon and that he was going to begin investigating that group or he was going to be investigating that lead. And that to me was mind blowing. And it happens during a small conversation that you have with Russell Adler. So it's like, I wouldn't say it's a hidden dialogue, but I guess you have to talk to him for you to find that answer i don't know if you had the pleasure of working with jason hudson he was one of the casualties back in panama just weeks before he died he told me about a paramilitary group that may have infiltrated the cia guess what they were called hudson seemed to believe they were homegrown maybe transnational but american dominated most likely military and intelligence expats the recruits seem western trained english speaking they know how to think like us, which makes them especially dangerous. And then Russell Adler says that that's why he began to look into Pantheon because of Jason Hudson. And I thought it was a really cool throwback. I thought it was a really cool callback, I suppose, actually, to a good and maybe underrated character, maybe not as a a beloved character like you know alex mason or frank woods but like he's a character that has the history with black ops he's he's an important character as well and i thought it was really cool to see him have a part in the hunt for pantheon uh, maybe, you know, spiritually, I suppose, if he wasn't there uh, physically with us. But I just thought it was a cool callback. And then it also puts in question why he was the target in the CIA operation gone bad as well. Because maybe we thought that Jason Hudson was collateral damage. Raul Menendez had some hatred towards him also. But in the game, it's also revealed that Jane Harrow was the mole in Panama. And so I think Jane Harrow, she also works for Pantheon. So if Jane Harrow works for Pantheon and she was the mole in Panama and she got wind that Jason Hudson knew about some involvement in the CIA, some involvement of Pantheon in the CIA, I think she wanted to get rid of Jason Hudson and Alex Mason was maybe collateral for her. Maybe Alex Mason didn't know anything about Pantheon and whatnot. And that was just collateral damage that she was willing to pay. There's also a hidden dialogue. Again, I don't know if it's hidden, but you have to talk to Woods to find out. But Woods tells Case that he thinks that Jane Harrow took a lot of money from Raul Menendez to become the mole in Panama. And I don't I don't I don't think that. I, I actually don't think it was the money. I think it was that she was scared that Jason Hudson was gonna find out about Pantheon a lot sooner than she thought. And so she put him in the crosshairs of Raul Menendez to get him killed. I really don't think it was the money. Because at first I thought you know money it can be very motivating, but it's not the the thing that makes somebody like do something crazy like that when she's in a high position, she can get money other way. I just it, it seemed too easy, too too weak to make it money. And I really, really, truly believe that she got wind of Jason Hudson finding out the truth, and she got him killed. And and that makes Jason Hudson's death even better. Like it adds more depth to his death and it elevates the story of black ops 2 even a little bit more knowing this information you know why hudson is in that chair you know why uh, hudson got killed because you know that he knew something very very dangerous that could have hurt the cia that was going to hurt jane harrow and i just found it really freaking cool and interesting to be quite honest with you let me know down in the comments what you think of this revelation <laughs>